Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters of the Week video. As always, these videos are just random entries from the cryptids.wikia.com webpage, focusing on whatever I happen to land on or whatever catches my interest there. In this case, it happens to feature a creature that's found within certain parts of the world, in this case England or Scotland, but when you look at the information related to it, you realize that it's an inspiration for so many creatures that one finds on your average sci-fi or fantasy or medieval or magic type game. In fact, when you look at some of the representations associated with this creature throughout the video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But it was found who knows how far back when and maybe even still out there to this day. In fact, you're looking at a specific representation of it now. It has a very unique name too. It's known as the Bugbear. So let's go ahead and let's talk about all the fascinating information tied to this creature and then we'll see if anyone out there in certain areas of the world happen to know more info, more close information associated with this creature. So what is this bugbear? Well, as you're looking at it now, it's essentially a humanoid-like creature that happens to look like a mixture of a human and a bear. So essentially you take your average human, let's say it's six feet tall, and then you mix it with a bear, but still keep it more humanoid than bear-like, and that's essentially what you're looking at here. It's known, in fact, to be almost seven feet tall in certain situations, and in other circumstances, it's much heavier than humans, reaching even 400 pounds altogether. Obviously, if that was a human, <clears throat> you'd be dealing with something that was, let's say, very, very large, very obese, but here, it's just mainly just pure power tied to it. In fact, it's considered having a very powerful hulking frame. It has this short, dark fur that covers its entire body. And then it has these very large ears that come out from its head. No that used to be able to hone in on a lot of its locations, like when it's on the hunt and when it's trying to find prey. And then it has these very, very large eyes as well. Very large, in fact, probably perfect for being able to see, let's say, at night or using it to, to, to catch, let's say, uh, far visions out there within its habitat. But yes, that's essentially what this creature is. A mixture of a bear, large, hulking appearance, muscular, short hair, and then some of the other characteristics of a bear too. It's also known to have very large claws, um, and this is mainly to use to hunt and stalk its prey. Where it's found at, I mentioned that just briefly a minute ago, it's found in regions associated with England and Scotland. In fact, it's almost to the point of myth. This gives you an idea of how long this creature has been in existence. People have been talking about it for so long, it basically took on its own legendary form. In fact, for the longest time, either... We've, you know, when it was actually existing or even now, if it's still out there to this day, people use it more on the lines of a boogie-like creature. So it's used in tales and it's used in nighttime scare stories to be able to let children know this is essentially what happens if you do something bad. And that means um, like if you do something that's rotten or something that you shouldn't do, then you'll have this bugbear come and essentially meet you. In fact, the word bug itself if you're thinking it's more insectoid, it's not. It's actually tied to Celtic word, which translates to evil goblin. So again, that gives you an idea of this type of creature here. Looking at it, you can almost see how much it's inspired. So many creatures that are found within various video games. The instant thing that reminded me was many of those creatures that you see in your average Lord of the Rings type tale. Maybe it's something like a video game or some other type of representation. I mean, how many times do you think you've seen something like this, right? Roaming the worlds there of the Middle Earth, and that essentially is this bugbear. Or maybe it was a loose inspiration associated with it. But yes, otherwise, it's taken on that myth-like notion that you can find it. Some tales associated with it throughout those regions, children's tales to scare them, uh, being able to have like more other close encounters. Who knows if people still have them, but if you wanted to, it's kind of like more on the lines of a no-no because this creature, everything that I mentioned earlier, from its hulking frame to its large claws to its ears to its perfect eyesight, 
It's all pretty much done for one thing. It stalks its prey out there in the woodland. Specifically, you'll find it within regions associated with dark forest. And when I say dark, I mean like dark, dark. Like in other words, the lighting ain't so good there. Not because necessarily like the atmosphere is evil, but otherwise it's because this location is perfect for it to huddle down and then wait and then hunt and see what it can find. And it has a speciality associated with humans and absolutely loves hunting for humans. It's humans are its favorite prey. Who knows if it's because of the taste or if it's because a human can give it the most hunt whenever, let's say, it's trying to find and, and it has a human and it fights back, something along those lines. That's the distinction that I got, at least when I was reading this information. But otherwise, it, it definitely hunts them. In fact, there are regions there in Scotland called the Moor Forest where this creature definitely had a presence there and it was hunting humans so much to the point that the humans actually started to fight back and somewhere along the way they decided they are going to turn things around and start hunting these bugbears and it was very successful as it turns out it was to the point where these bugbears were almost driven to extinction but some of them were able to actually escape or at least hide to a certain point that they could not be found afterward and then to this day they might still be around there but otherwise they are in much more shortened areas uh, with regards to their population but otherwise if you wanted to at least stay away from these bugbears let's say you're in the England or the Scotland area it's pretty much easy all you got to do is just stay away from any darkened forest areas especially those that are listed let's say on the edge of a village or if you happen to go to another area that let's say is long abandoned meaning maybe it had some civilization at some point maybe that civilization ran away all of a sudden you see let's say abandoned houses here and there that's the kind of stuff that you want to try avoid in those areas because the bugbears may have actually made some of those their habitats not necessarily the houses but at least the areas surrounding them and then when that happens that's where you'll come across their vicinity but yeah otherwise if you wanted to keep away from them it seems like just stay away from those darkened forest with the abandoned villages and then you'll be fine does this is a creature that does not seem to go about let's say towards the more populous urban or rural areas with a lot of humans um, so you'll be fine afterward but that's pretty much it that's all the information associated with this type of creature um, if anybody has any more info anything else i might have missed then please Post those comments below. Maybe some of you from the Scotland area, if you know more things on a local level, or maybe those of you in the England area, I'd um, love to hear what your comments are there too. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.